Hello, everybody. I'm Sal Capano. Happy Saturday, October 16th. I hope you're having a great weekend so far. The middle of October. I'm getting a lot of questions. Sal, will there be a fourth stimulus check? Are we going to have some kind of unemployment retroactive? What's next on the agenda on the 3.5 in, uh, human infrastructure, build back better, or whatever that you want to call it? Well, I'm going to jump right into it. I'm going to have a sip of coffee because we got a little bit more detail on this Saturday afternoon. First of all, Pelosi warns of cuts in the Build Back Better Act. She warns. Uh, Bernie Sanders, he's blaming the media. It seems like to me everybody everybody in the Democrat Party is blaming somebody. I quote Bernie Sanders says, uh, it's a shame that the media and the people don't know what's in this bill. And, and the people, listen to what he just said. Hello, do you even know what's in it? And what's the matter if we do know what's in it? How's that going to help us pass it? Just don't understand that, would you? I'll uh, leave the comments below. Let me continue. Um, what cuts will happen? Yes, there's definitely going to be cuts. Remember, uh, um, Joe Manchin versus everybody. And he wants to cut to compromise on this. Speaking of Manchin, um, Manchin says, uh, listen, I want to cut this $150 billion in clean uh, electricity. Excuse me. He wants that cut. Let's cut that. Now, he's not saying to cut that and put anything else in. Also, we're going to talk about AOC. She's continued to fight for you and I and everybody else for some kind of unemployment relief. So we're going to touch on that as well. And um, also, I want to talk about um, unemployment, the lowest unemployment and the highest unemployment. And I'm going to give you my response exactly what's going to happen. What states are leading the highest? Well, one state I'm sitting at right now is Nevada. We are the highest unemployment rate right now in the nation at 7.7. And what is our governor doing about it? We're going to cover a little bit of that. Once again, before I go any farther, if you haven't hit the like button, um, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel as we give out great prizes, this beautiful shirt, the hat behind me, and good um, money. I'm going to probably be giving away. I am leaving for our 30th anniversary uh, this weekend, but when I get back, I'm going to be giving out more cash prizes. So if you haven't subscribed, it's free to subscribe. Also, um, I have a very low club if you want to join in where you get bigger prizes and good shirts. I'm going to have a sip of coffee. We're going to jump right into this craziness that's happening in this world. Let's cover the most important, I think, for my viewers is the unemployment. I spoke in yesterday live what I thought. AOC is not going anywhere. Now, whether you love her, hate her, don't care, she, her voice is becoming, you know, our voice who wants unemployment. She's continued to push and getting some senators pushed behind her to retroactive from Labor Day till February 1st of 2022 and then modified at that point. She continues to talk to Nancy Pelosi, President Biden, her associates to not, you know, to get it back. Now, once we're on the unemployment subject, let me just read you something here. Now, this is up to date. According to the U.S. Census now finding household income U.S. went down from... It went down 2.9 percent from 69,560 to 67,521 leads to this. So here is the lowest unemployment. Now, amazing enough, Hawaii is climbed on down to 2.3, Iowa 2.4, Idaho 2.7, Minnesota 2.8, Nebraska 2.8 and North Dakota at 2.8. They are the lowest unemployment right now, the highest is where I live in Las Vegas, Nevada. Nevada is sitting at 7.7, .7, California 7.7, .7, New York 7.6. If I have it named your state, because the rest are around 4.5 to 6.0. Now, my thoughts real quick in your response. I continue to say about this about Marco Rubio. He brought this up. Each state is different among unemployment. The ones I just named are very low. How about you utilize AOC here it is in this package. Do you want it? No. And we'll keep it there if you do need it until February as Americans are still struggling. So the ones who need it, because the states aren't going to implement it. Remember the $350 billion I continue to say for new on my channel that President Biden said, here it is. They're not using it. They're not utilizing it for unemployment. Some are for uh, state stimulus. Maybe one is for unemployment. So you use that and then wean them down from 300 to 200, 100 as the unemployment drops until... We're out of this pandemic 100%. That's my thoughts. like to hear your thoughts. Now, let's continue. Yes, Nevada. Our governor, he wants to piggyback on child tax credit. Why? What about helping all Americans? Not everybody has kids or kids are growing up. It's amazing where these people are thinking. They know, but they just 
for some reason or another don't want to pull the trigger and mess with all the um, details. But I'm still confident. Now, stimulus checks. We'll say, what about a fourth stimulus check? Here's the deal on the fourth stimulus check. I still continue to say, if they pass this, well, it's not going to be 3.5 anymore. Let's just call for conversation purpose. We'll just make a number of 2.2, mansion, they come together. For them to pass a stimulus check, would, um, for them to pass this package, let's say, for example, and I'm optimistic, you guys will have a smile on your face that child, child tax credit is in this, but it'll be modified with some criteria and it won't go on for years. Um, if he just does that alone with no stimulus, no unemployment, and helping all Americans, I can't see how he can continue as a president and or the whole party can be just thrown out. Um, the, re the Republicans could take over the House uh, real soon as well. So it's about politics, people. I'm down the middle. So I still convince that there'll be some kind of stimulus check on there. Let's continue um, what I want to talk about. So I quote now the Speaker Pelosi. Let's go back to Nancy Pelosi how she says, I'm very unhappy that we have to trim this down. There's a lot of money that's going for the American people. What? Aside from child tax credit, it's going to, to other countries. It's going for climate change and electricity and electric cars. How's it helping us out? And you even want to take out first-time home buyers. So what is it for the people aside for child tax credit? And seniors at six years old. Now, Bernie Sanders continues to say, I want my senior Medicare. I want it in here now. Medicare for all. Medicare at 60 years old, not 65. And I want free vision. He, I, The way he's in charge and he's fighting for that, I can't see how they would punish him and take that out. But what else is for the people? Nancy Pelosi, wake up. It, the whole party's blaming the media, the, the, us. Like, we're stupid people. Instead of just sitting down, they say it's mansion and cinema versus the rest. Won't they compromise and do what's right for the American people? And that's including you two, mansion and cinema. Uh, and you, the president, because it's on your watch. You are the leader. You're leading the nation. President Trump went through this. Love him. Hate him. Don't give a crap about him. He went through it and kind of compromised. And he had the party, you know, Nancy Pelosi against him. And they still got stuff wrong. The president needs to step up to the back. Okay, and he needs to get this going. It's just upsetting. So that's your Saturday news. I wish I can give you better news, but I mean, whatever you're hearing in other channels, yes, we know it's not in, but we know, I'm referring to unemployment, it's not out. Let's stay optimistic, let's stay focused. I want everybody to have a safe weekend. Um, I will come on tonight or tomorrow if there's any more news. Remember, I'll probably be traveling between the Sunday, Monday, to Sedona, Arizona for my 30th anniversary with my lovely wife. Remember, if you like this great shirt or hat behind me, I'm going to be uh, offer them. I'm also going to be giving some out. Let me know. I'm also going to have, like I said, I have a um, membership starting as $3.99. You will get these shirts. You will get these hats. You will be eligible for big prizes. Um, and thank you again for liking this video and sharing my video. It greatly helps out the YouTube algorithm. And our channel so if you like what you're hearing from me share this video to help our station now grow even bigger ciao oh say hello to somebody and tomorrow is another day and there's always a solution on my channel and then ciao